Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to show you my two games. But before that, I want to tell you the reason why I'm showing you these two games. And the reason is one message from a person that I'm not going to name because I don't want to give any spotlight to this kind of behaviors or the aggression. So after one of the games that I won, I got a request for a chat and I said, okay, my opponent wrote me. Every game is the same. You are that lost and turn the engine on. Banned soon, he says. He basically accused me for cheating in nice words. And today in this video, I am going to show you both of the games and let's see if I gave him any reason to call me a cheater. Let's go. Okay, this is the second game. I'm here with white pieces. I went one day four. He responded with d5. And here we have knight moves, bishop to g5, and he goes c5. Very aggressive approach. I decided to stay still here and play c3 and then e3. However, he plays bishop to f5. This can be a really nice approach against my pawn structure. And then after bishop to b5, he goes queen to b6 hitting my bishop on b5. a4 is the move that I played here to maintain this bishop, but after a6, I have to give up my bishop and here to guard my pawn on b2. However, if I play here queen c2 or queen to e2, I think after rook to b8, I will still struggle with this pawn here. So I just decided to castle and to hope that after capturing here on b2, I will have a counter play because he still needs some time to develop the king side and castle the king. So my next move is knight to b2. I gave up another pawn and after queen to e1, then I just realized that, oh my god, I blundered an exchange on f1. However, I found this move knight to e5 very interesting because now pawn on c6 is hanging, bishop is hanging also on d3, so I basically force my opponent to take the rook on f1 and after knight takes on f1 i'm hoping that i can play something like rook to c1 to go after this knight or maybe to get this knight on g3 and to get some kind of counterplay on the king side as my opponent says i'm a dead lost maybe i'm dead lost but this is a blitz game here also the time element is very important to play very fast so he goes here rook to c8 and i don't believe this is the proper move here to guard the pawn on c6 when you have king still in the center but i'm not playing here with the black pieces obviously and his next moves are following knight to a4 grabs another pawn and now this already gives me some kind of counterplay i responded with rook to b1 to chase this queen and now queen to d1 to go after this knight but my main idea is to get this queen here to attack the pawn on f7 so that happened actually and now he plays f5 which is a blunder it's a blunder <laughs> and he made this blunder actually uh it's a bad move obviously and it weakens the king side it weakens all the dark squares and the next move is not so difficult to find this is quite common motive in this kind of pawn structures you guys you can actually try to solve this kind of puzzle pause the video for a moment maybe for like several seconds and try to find a move that you can play here with white well my first uh idea here is to just grab this pawn because if you take i will take with the queen this rook is hanging i'm threatening a checkmate in one move here and here so i think this is just great position but after this move, I just thought that maybe queen to c2 is a double threat. I have an issue on the back rank and I stopped here the calculation. However, my pieces are very active here. I have four pieces into the attack and I can simply just grab this pawn here and force checkmate. King is just stuck, can't go anywhere. Well... I did not see that mm, situation that happening after knight f5 so i stopped here the calculation and i went for queen to h5 which is also a very strong move now the idea is that black's king is stuck and cannot go anywhere and after g6 which my opponent played knight to g6 is such a natural move and it's so common idea here so basically 
he can just take this knight now and I can either take the rook but I wanted to go for a checkmate and I thought that it was a checkmate after this move. Well, to be honest, I was under uh, pressure here of time because some of other games I lost some time and I was playing very fast and I didn't see king to d6. This video is on my YouTube channel and you guys can actually check out this live. I will put the link in the description. And here after king to d6, there is the forced checkmate that white can do. So I encourage you to pause the video one more time and just train a little bit. Find here a checkmate in three moves from white side. Go ahead and good luck. And of course, let me know in the comment section if you found it. Myself, I have not found it, even though that I was probably already using the engine at this point. I went for bishop to f6, which I found very natural move. I want to checkmate my opponent in one move and also hitting the rook. Yes, checkmate is not working. So he responded with c takes d4. I responded back, capturing back with a pawn once again. This checkmate threat remains on the board. And then when he responded with knight to c4, at this point, I saw that bishop to e5 is not, uh, is not a good move anymore because this knight is capturing. But I found one last resource for me. This rook can actually get into the action. Rook to b7 just wins the game. Here the threat is queen to d7 or rook to d7 or bishop to e7. A lot of threats here. You can give a check on the back rank, but I have this knight here to guard my king and black is just hopeless. And I received the uh, comment that I told you guys at the very beginning after this game. Okay, you can judge the rest. I gave you the all information. You can judge the la uh, rest. Now I'm going to show you another game which happened right before this one.